It's a cold winter morning in a remote Tasmanian forest, and this researcher has been traipsing these trails for nearly two decades. We are studying one of the most bizarre and unique diseases ever known to biology, which is a transmissible cancer. He's carefully tracking the spread of the facial tumour disease that's been killing Tasmanian devils. This disease is a horrific disease. It's a hideous disease that disfigures animals, that uh, is facial tumours occur all, all over the head, uh, removing dentition, jaws, popping eyes. So it is a horrific disease. 18 years in, Dr Rodrigo Hamede and his team of volunteers have set nearly 3,000 traps in the exact same locations. With the devil population about 30% of what it was, they now catch more quolls than devils. I think the most important reason why we keep coming here is because in, uh, one of the great assets uh, and values of science is repetition and is consistency. And the persistence has paid off with a welcome discovery. The devils that are trapped are now learning to live with the disease. Well, we're talking about cancer. We're talking about a disease that is going to kill the animals, uh, regardless of their response. And somehow uh, we found both tumours and devils are evolving mechanisms uh, to allow them to persist in time. Devils were officially protected in the 1940s and declared endangered in 2009. Dr Hamede says rather than focus on remote areas where the disease may not exist, conservation instead should be focused on areas like this one. We have a population that has been suffering from DFTD for 17 years, for almost nine generations, and has managed to come up, fight back and try to adapt to this disease and persist despite of it. They hold the future, they have the key. And they're providing hope for the species. Meg Powell, ABC News, Northwest Tasmania.